The National Institute of Chemistry in Ljubljana is a nationally and internationally recognized research organization in the field of pure and applied chemistry. Established in 1946 as the Chemical Laboratory of the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts, it has experienced numerous organizational transformations during the last 50 years. At present, the Institute acts as a public non-profit research institution founded by the state and co-founded by the Slovenian Academy of Sciences and Arts and the University of Ljubljana. The Institute has 190 employees, about 130 of them are working in research and more than 70 have PhDs. The Institute is managed and headed by the Scientific Council, elected by the Assembly of Scientists, the Board of Governors and the Director. The Quality Assurance System plays an important role in supervising the quality of work at the Institute. Research and development activities at the Institute are organized within 14 laboratories and 6 centers, of which the largest is the National NMR Center with top research equipment. Being a multi- and interdisciplinary institution with close links to the faculties of both Slovenian universities, the Institute presently oversees 21 research programs in the field of pure and applied chemistry, chemical engineering, biotechnology, food technology, environmental protection, information science and drug organic and inorganic materials. The team at the Laboratory for Molecular Modeling and Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy comprises 11 researchers with physical, chemical or mathematical backgrounds. The predominant activity of the group focuses on basic and applied research as well as teaching activities. Research is performed in the area of theoretical and physical chemistry and molecular biology. Theoretical methods are aimed at explaining the dynamics of atoms and molecules involved in chemical reactions such as proton transfer and the formation or decomposition of chemical bonds. Results obtained from theory are tested and complemented with computer simulations. New simulation methods are being developed and new algorithms are being designed for the simulations. Experimental work is mainly of spectroscopic character. High-resolution nuclear magnetic resonance, infrared and Raman spectroscopes are used in order to study the structure and dynamics of peptides, proteins and nucleic acids. The research is aimed towards drug design, drug delivery and explanations of the functioning of existing drugs. Nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is also used to study chemical composition and to prove the authenticity of various types of Slovenian wine. Research within the laboratory for the spectroscopy of materials is oriented towards the synthesis of materials in bulk and thin film form which exhibit various optical, electrical and mechanical properties. Sol gel processing combined with a dip coating technique is used for the preparation of electrochromic ion storage films and organic-inorganic hybrids with ionic conductivity. As an alternative to more complicated electrochromic devices, gasochromic films were made. Color of such films changes when flushed with hydrogen gas. Part of the research is also oriented towards the production of paints based on various pigment and resin binders which are used for solar collector coatings with spectrally selective properties. In the laboratory for chemometrics, we're exploring and developing mathematical, statistical, computational and other methods for solving problems in various fields of chemistry. Such methods include expert systems, artificial intelligence, artificial neural networks, genetic algorithms. Of particular interest to us are problems related to statistical analysis in the analytical chemistry of multivariate analytes, the search for structure property relationships based on different spectroscopes, and a quantitative search for structure activity relationships. Considerable effort is put into the transfer of knowledge from the Institute to industry, particularly in the field of quality control and quality assurance. The laboratory has excellent relations with the departments of both Slovenian universities. We collaborate successfully with the most of the leading chemometrics laboratories throughout the world.
Research at a laboratory for analytical chemistry is oriented towards the investigation, development and automation of analytical systems and the development of methods and procedures using various techniques such as ICP, atomic emission spectrometry, voltammetry, ion chromatography, hyphenated techniques and so on. Investigations of electrochemical sensors and microelectrodes for various applications in environmental analysis and biological systems are also important. In the field of the chemistry of atmospheric aerosols, the heterogeneous oxidation of trace gases and the formation of secondary aerosols are studied. The laboratory also specializes in determining the chemical composition of wastewater and solid airborne particles with regard to heavy metals, trace metals and so on. The main objective of the laboratory is twofold. First, the research and development of new processes of wastewater treatment in comparison with conventional treatment systems. Second, the introduction of integrated access of evaluation of the quality of surface water. Laboratory researchers study the elimination of individual components from wastewater and introduce a variety of methods for an examination of surface and wastewaters. Laboratory staff are involved in solving wastewater-related industrial problems and their influence on recipients. Other activities include wastewater monitoring. This must be done by the polluters themselves, according to Slovenian legislation. In the laboratory of food chemistry, we conduct research into food technology, clinical chemistry and analytical chemistry. In food chemistry, we develop individual technological processes, such as the hydrogenation of edible oils, the hydrolyzation of proteins and the removal of cholesterol from milk fat, dairy products and egg yolks. All these processes are carried out professionally and under patent protections. In the area of clinical chemistry, we develop and validate analytical methods for the pharmaceutical industry for biological and bioactive substances. In analytical chemistry, we develop new original analytical methods, essentially in the area of separation techniques. The laboratory is also active in preparing documents for good laboratory practice, GLP. The knowledge and experience gained in basic research are transferred to industry through joint projects, seminars, etc. In the laboratory, we conduct research on the synthesis and characterization of synthetic polymers with special properties and predictable structures. Polymer properties depend on the synthesis route and the subsequent processing of the materials. This places special emphasis on research into correlations between polymer synthesis parameters and their structures and properties which require substantial knowledge and modern research equipment. In recent years we have carried out research in the area of polyurethane and acrylic based functional polymers such as side chain liquid crystal polyurethanes, polyurethane ionomers, or interpenetrating polymer networks and conducting conjugated polymers such as polyanilines. The Center for Polymer Materials Recycling is a subunit of the laboratory. Here, laboratory researchers collaborate with the processors and potential end users of recycled materials. The work is devoted to the synthesis of natural and non-natural products with biological potential. The focus is on novel antiviral and anti-cancer drugs, either on small molecules and their coordination compounds, or larger short oligonucleotides, suitable for anti-gene or anti-sense strategies in medicinal chemistry. Regioselective, stereoselective and asymmetric synthesis is performed using either chemical or chemical enzymatic methods. Basic nucleosides are properly functionalized, suitable even for post-synthetic work, and are protected and activated. The NMR Center offers infrastructure and service for the collection and processing of NMR spectra to all institutions and companies that use NMR in their research. A 600 MHz spectrometer is used in the study of the three-dimensional structure and dynamics of complex systems with a high molecular mass, while two 300 MHz instruments are used by synthetic organic chemists.
The main area of research comprises the synthesis and characterization of new microporous crystalline zeolites and zeolite-like materials. Research is focused on detailed studies of aluminophosphates, since they represent a class of potentially widely useful substances if one considers their diverse physico-chemical properties. Aluminophosphates with specifically targeted properties can be synthesized by means of the combination of specific starting materials and template-directed conditions of synthesis. The characterization of synthesized products is performing using X-ray diffraction, thermal analysis and infrared and solid-state NMR spectroscopy. The determination of the crystal structure of novel types of aluminophosphates is performed mainly by using synchrotron radiation and is conducted in collaboration with international universities and research institutions. The research can be divided into three segments. In the first, the electrical properties of solid ion conductors and especially of the interfaces between ion conductors and other solid materials are investigated using impedance spectroscopy. The theoretical part of these studies is focused on the modeling of mass and electrical transport through or along the interfaces in ionic conductors. The second segment comprises studies of passivation and degradation processes in lithium ion accumulators using new experimental approaches. The goal is to reduce initial capacity losses and to increase the cycle numbers of accumulators. In the third segment, the absorption of poly electrolytes on various substrates and subsequent particle deposition from selected dispersions are investigated. In recent years, Laboratory 11, in collaboration with LIC, has begun investigations into the production of pharmaceuticals using genetically manipulated microorganisms. All segments are included, from basic molecular biology studies of the production of organisms, the construction and testing of new cloning, expression and secretion systems, protein engineering and biosynthesis in laboratory fermenters, to the introduction of new methods for isolation and the biochemical and biological characterization of products. The human tumor necrosis factor, TNF-alpha, was used as the first modal protein and until now more than 30 new analogs have been designed and produced in the quality enabling parenteral application. In preclinical research into anti-tumor therapy at the Oncological Institute in Ljubljana, some of the analogs have proved to have fewer side effects at unreduced cytotoxicity. At the department, research is focused on the use of microorganisms, mainly fungi. Under defined conditions, fungi are able to excrete a number of useful bioproducts, such as enzymes, organic acids, antibiotics and other pharmaceuticals and recombinant proteins. We are equipped with laboratory bioreactors and with fermenters, where the growth of microorganisms and the accumulation of products can be adequately monitored. A task for researchers is to define the optimal conditions for fermentation, that is, chemical composition of the substrate, as well as the physical parameters in a fermenter. For a better understanding of the mechanisms of product formation, the physiology and metabolism of a number of species are studied, while mutation or recombinant DNA techniques are used for the improvement of strains. The research activity of this laboratory comprises the kinetic evaluation of catalyzed and non-catalyzed chemical reactions running in homogeneous or heterogeneous reaction systems. The research team is capable of designing and synthesizing catalytically active substances, preparing catalysts, modeling chemical reactors for reactions within single or multi-phase systems, and designing integrated process schemes for industrial catalytic processes. The interdisciplinary knowledge and broad experience of the research team in the fields of heterogeneous catalysis and chemical reactions, engineering, have resulted in the design and development of pilot-scale catalytic processes for the production of dimethyl ether from methanol and the catalytic wet oxidation of organic water pollutants.
Chemical processes and related products which are discovered in basic research laboratories and which are of industrial and commercial interest are further developed in the process laboratory. Its main aim is to study scale-up methods for various chemical reaction and separation processes and to prepare the engineering data needed for process development of an industrial scale. The laboratory is equipped with modular units for performing chemical reactions and phase or component separations under different thermodynamic conditions and in various equipment configurations. The chemical reactors and separators used in this laboratory are of a pilot size ranging from 10 to 200 liters and are made of resistant materials such as glass, animal, titanium, stainless steel and various composites. Critical process steps including multiphase reactions at elevated temperatures and pressures and difficult multi-component separations are most often studied and developed in this laboratory.